they don't really know how it starts or where it comes from. You've got shaky hands, what's wrong with you? Are you tired, are you drunk, are you nervous? My hands or often parts of my body will constantly shake. He's not nervous or anxious. Jacob Butler has lived every day of his life shaking. Well, I was told that I started to shake when Dad saw me in the cot, shaking as a baby. Um, so I guess as soon as I was born. And then I suppose it started to pick up or be noticeable when I was in school, playing sports. It's called a benign essential tremor and is a lot like Parkinson's disease. There's no cure. People think they're having a bad day and I can just hold my hands. And then they're like, oh, all right, OK, got nothing to worry about. At 29 years old, finding work has been tough. For some silly reason, I was working at a cafe. I'd have to serve coffee, you know, sort of juggling two coffees at once, and they'd pretty much land on the floor before I got to the customer. I was working on super yachts for years, so when I was tying knots or carrying coffee to the captain, I was no good. Usually they just say, get another job, find something else that you're good at. <laughs> and four years ago, he did, and it was extraordinary barely able to draw a straight line when Jake picked up a paintbrush the shakes gave way to a masterpiece well it's picking up a paintbrush for me it is my release it's the best feeling ever meet shaky jakey the artist when I start painting everyone often looks at me with their eyes wide open because they can see my hand that shaking how can this guy paint it all started as a doodle on a hard hat during lunch breaks working on the Fremantle Wharf. The name Shaky actually came from when I was on the wharf and everyone noticed my shaky hands when I had to sign the JHAs. It was one of the managers, instead of calling out Jacob, it was Shaky! And then everyone sort of clapped and I thought, alright, that's my name. And it stuck? Yeah, well it helps, it means I don't have to explain myself. His hands were once life's biggest hurdle, now he's saving grace. I've sort of subscribed to the fact that it can never be neat so I have to see what happens if I experiment. He's fast, erratic and messy. His mistakes turn into masterpieces. I usually grab the biggest brush. Some, I've even used the broom before. And um, I don't worry about ruling anything up. It's sort of like creating something out of a mess. His creations cover cafe walls and storefronts across Perth, bringing to life iconic faces we all recognise and then some we don't. I think it's fun actually sort of surprising people the public when you sort of come into a shop and find your mate is on the wall so yeah. sort of run with that so that's my cousin connor uh acting like he does at christmas banjo and my grandma wow have you ever wanted your shaking to disappear no i've been offered lots of different pharmaceutical drugs from the doctors and i think i threw them in the bin no nah. so you'd rather live with this forever yeah if, if, if i was born like this then why change it because we don't know what's causing it, there is no cure for this disorder. Some epilepsy and blood pressure medications can be used to treat the tremors, but are only successful for about half of patients. The other treatment is surgery. Introducing an electrode into the brain and there's a pacemaker that's kept under your skin. Jake has shunned both medication and surgery and has discovered a relief through art. I think that he's just getting uh, lost in the painting, he's relaxing and um, that anxiety is going away and that helps. Now Shaky's giving newlyweds a special gift, one of a kind art. Getting an amazing photograph is one thing, but the best part about it is Jake can actually take like different elements from the day and put it all together in one painting. Together with his fiance photographer Ange Coote, Jake brings to life a single snapshot of the day. Time stands still as hours pass. It's like me versus the the crowd and I've only got a few hours, it's like I'm going to battle. The point of the music is that I can basically paint to a beat, so I sync to the music. He's always sweating and <laughs> painting furiously and then all of a sudden it's like, bam, there's this amazing piece, so it's so cool to see it brought to life. The joy that I have now is, I think it all comes down to the fact that I've finally chosen my passion and decided to go down that path and, and pretty much embrace my body. And Jake wants others to as well. But it's messy. Well, let's make it more messy. The reason this is so successful is because of Jake. Jake volunteers for Art Without Barriers, encouraging others to embrace their inner artist. They live for this program. You know, some of the, some of my some of my clients, you know, are 
down in the dumps, you know, struggling to get out of bed, and now they're jumping out of bed. What sort of brushes do you think we need for these ones? Learn a ways to live with, with whatever your challenge is and see if you can set yourself apart using that challenge. So if you woke up tomorrow and miraculously you stopped shaking, do you think you could still paint the way you do? I wouldn't have the same style, I wouldn't have the same opportunities. Uh, I wouldn't probably be as in love with art as I would had I not been like this. And while a picture is worth a thousand words, Shaky Jakey's paintings will leave you speechless. The main message I want to give to people is that they should just follow what they've always wanted to do. Follow your passion, what you're good at, because that's, in the end of the day, that's going to keep you happy.